I mean, one of the things that I found, you know, like when I was in active addiction, I had a lot of fears and a lot of unresolved stuff. I found it very difficult to get to sleep. The way I'd get to sleep would be to have a huge meal just before going to bed to like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like a sedative. Like if I eat knock a you out. Knock, knock me out. <laughs> so I'd go, I can't get to sleep because my head would be so, it would be like buzzing from the day, you know, like an addict head, it just goes non-stop. So I need like a drug to, to go to sleep. So I'd like have a lot of food and then the, the blood would stop going to my brain and then I could fall asleep, you see. So it was like, it was like, a, it was like, a, I don't recommend that as a no. way to, to, to go to sleep. But I found that once I started doing spiritual work and like releasing all my fears and angers and resentments <coughs> and started to feel, and I also clear, cleaned up my spiritual conduct mm -hmm. as well, then I started to feel like I could easily get to sleep, you see. I think as well, uh, when you start to do spiritual work, um, yeah, you know, retaining that sense of inner peace means you can more easily get to sleep. But when you go more into the ego mind, it's like you're kind of like in a constant buzz. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm afraid of this, or I'm anxious about this, or I'm angry about that. So you've got all this energy, and uh, at night time, and my way was just to resort to addiction to just quickly numb me out and then fall asleep. So. If you process, start processing, uh, like we'll be doing here, feeling the feelings, going to the observer, cancelling your beliefs, then uh, that will help to release all of that stuff so you can more naturally go to sleep. The other way to go to sleep is to do the observer, which we'll, 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 we'll talk about. So uh, that's a bit more of a complicated thing. So you're like, you do the thing, or you can watch Muji on YouTube. So something can't get to sleep and is agitated. So if you go to that which is witnessing the agitation and the thoughts, and then go to that witnesser, and then go to, go to the witnesser of that witnesser, and keep doing that, and you should eventually be able to fall asleep. Because you'd be disengaging. Because even though there's lots of fear and anxiety and fearful thoughts, you know, there, there is a detached witnessing, non-attached witnessing. And once you drop into that, then you'll quickly fall asleep. And here's, here's the great thing with um, things. So I'll share one story. Um, so, like Dr. Hawkins was an enlightened teacher, and he, um, I mean, he came from an addiction background, so it's not to use addiction, but to, <coughs> but to either feel your feelings or go to the observer. And so I decided I had a transplant operation, and he went through an operation without anaesthetic, and uh, and he went into he went into states of bliss. So they were like cutting off his joints with no anaesthetic. And, but if you if you don't resist, you completely surrender, then you can go off into states of bliss. But you have to be very good at it. You mustn't resist. So so I did have a general, but I, I refused all medication after the the operation. And I would just allow myself to, to be with the feeling and not resist. And also, I did a bit of the um, Lord's Prayer. And so I was doing it, and it did feel like there was like a kitchen knife in my abdomen. That's what it felt like. But, you know, if you don't, if you don't resist uh, and you stay in the moment, it's bearable, but it's intense. But I realized I wasn't going to go to sleep. But I was doing it, so I was like connected to grace. And then this idea popped into my head because I had like my headphones with Muji on them. <coughs> so, so that's a really intense pain. I put them on and Muji was just talking about going to the observer. You know, so I, I just went to the observer of the horrific pain and I fell asleep. And I had the deepest, you have to have really deep sleep if you just, you know, if you're having the pain of just having your abdomen cut open. You can't have a light sleep. It has to be the deepest, deepest sleep possible. Otherwise, you just wake up. Mm -hmm. But I went into like deep, deep, deep sleep, so that you know there was nothing. And I had some sleep and I got up and it was fine. And it's like when you when you like surrender, you know, it's like the angels and grace fly to support you. Mm -hmm. And when you resist or you use something to numb out, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you're on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, I did have. Um, 
So yeah, so that's the thing with sleep.